So, you know, discipleship, I think, is what God called us to do. And that's the only way we're ever gonna get the gospel out. If you're gonna do the Great Commission, which is to take the gospel into all the world, we're able to do discipleship evangelism on a global scale in every nation. By having all these locations all across the world, then we're able to get the word out. And more people are getting turned on to God than any other time in our existence. We really have people who know how to hear the voice of the Lord and find out what God created them to do. They're prepped to be confident when they pray for others and, and lay hands on the sick and see them recover. It's the Word of God. And if you're receiving that same Word, uh, wherever you are, you will be transformed. Something has happened in our world. Something new has sparked. As hearts and minds come to Jesus in unprecedented numbers, we have a need like never before for more translations, more discipleship materials, and more laborers for the harvest. A season that our World Outreach Department has spent years preparing for, and it has only just begun. This is the story of how the friends and partners of Andrew Womack Ministries and Karis Bible College equipped a team of pioneers and apostles to take the gospel as far and deep as possible. This is World Outreach, unifying laborers for the harvest. The story begins over 20 years ago when Andrew realized his school, Colorado Bible College, had a broader reach than the name implied. We had people that were telling me as I traveled that, man, I want to go, but I can't leave here. I can't. You know, they had kids or they had uh, parents or somebody they were taking care of. And so we decided we'd take it to them. The first location outside of Colorado actually happened in the UK. It was when Wendell Parr went out and he established the Bible College and the AWM office. Wendell actually said, we can't call this, you know, Colorado Bible College because it's bigger than Colorado now. So that's when we talked about Karis Bible College and Karis standing for the Greek word of grace. We had the first stateside school in Chicago started by a Mark and Denise Bassett. So it was just like, as people got a hold of it, they said, we want to do this. And so it was individuals that basically raised up their hands and said, we want to go. From there, our graduates started new locations, both throughout the country and around the world. Pioneers like Leland Shores, who brought Karis to Uganda. Joseph and Eva Setterstrom, who started Karis in Poland, and our very own Carrie Pickett, who started Karis in Russia. These early years brought incredible growth and expansion, but the further the message went, the harder it became to ensure the integrity of Andrew's vision remained intact. We were not very strict or strategic on the way that we started. I mean, we just had people that had a good heart that would go out and try and start it. And because of it, people weren't getting the same thing that they were getting here in Colorado. We needed to have more structure. And so that's really when the Office of World Outreach really took an important role is in just making sure the same heartbeat, the same vision, the same direction that Andrew really had from the Lord and the fruit and the blessing of that was being multiplied in the right way. To change the world, we needed unity of heart. So Andrew made Mike and Carrie Pickett our vice presidents over all of our school locations, where, as the overseers of our world outreach expansion, the two combined their experiences from running a school in Russia with the efficiencies they witnessed in our AWM and Karis offices in Colorado. World Outreach takes what happens here in Woodland Park and brings it globally. AWM is the publications, the broadcast, television, really how do we get the gospel out there far? But in the process, as people get touched with the material, they're like, I want more. And so then that's where Karis is the deep. We have 22 locations here in the United States, as well as 29 Karis locations outside the United States. The goal is that any person that goes to any Karis worldwide gets the exact same experience as they have here. While processes and materials can get duplicated easily, leaders, on the other hand, do not come in a box. To send people to new locations meant growing directors who could take Andrew's heart for discipleship and adapt it to the needs of the new cultures and language groups. 
Whether starting a school in Oklahoma or the bushes of Africa, New Jersey or behind closed doors, Karis needed disciple makers who would preserve the integrity of God's Word regardless of location. Thus, we created the Director's Training Programs. Translation, building relationship, discipling students, helping them become leaders, helping them become ministers, it's a tremendous work. And so one of the things that we started here in Colorado, as well as globally, we have our Global Training Director's Training Program. They understand they're representing Andrew's ministry, another man's ministry. They're humble, they're submitted, they will take the strategic planning that comes from leadership and say yes, but they also are now getting equipped with the skill sets and the core competencies to do the job well. So that globally, all these schools are going together. All of our leaders are going in the same direction. The same curriculum, the same doctrine. The goal is to have one Karis in many locations. With one ministry vision, and the leading of the Holy Spirit, not even a worldwide pandemic could slow us down. When COVID brought sickness, we saw even more miracles and breakthroughs. When governments enforced lockdowns brought political unrest, our locations shared God's love with their communities in practical ways. When race wars brought riots and division, we became all the more unified as our France, American, and South African offices joined forces to preach the gospel in the French-speaking regions of the DR Congo. This is grace! I can't Though we could not work our way to God, God worked His way down to us. We went to all kinds of churches, preaching every night, and uh, they was just pulling on us. Whatever they could get out of us, they pulled on us, and so it was extremely impactful. The French translation of Karis is underway with the leadership of Martine. We're going to establish Andrew Mike Ministries Congo for a full year. And after that full year, Karis Congo can open up with a fully translated French curriculum. The joint efforts of our schools discipling the DR Congo serves as just one example of the new tribes, languages, and tongues we have now impacted with the gospel. With a ministry location in every time zone and our Karis curriculum in 14 different languages and counting, our directors have stayed steadfast on teaching the uncompromised Word of God. And the results speak for themselves. Because we now have the curriculum in Chinese, we went from six students to now 528 students in five countries. Since two years that we opened, we received thousands of testimonies and tens of thousands of people's lives have been completely touched and transformed. Every country in South America and Latin America, they are receiving the message of grace and they've never heard it before. We received calls from Italy, people in Lithuania, in different countries that you wouldn't think about that. I was telling Andrew, if, we, if I have to tell you all the testimonies, probably God has to double or triple or make so many times your life on earth. One student who had been diagnosed with cancer, he built his faith on the Word and received the healing which has already been provided and he got his full functionality back and by now he's, he is completely healed. I have traveled all over the world and I can truthfully say that when I go and hear their testimonies, they are giving the exact same testimonies that the people here are giving. They're the ones that with their gifting and callings now discipled by the Word of God, they're gonna be the ones that perpetuate the Great Awakening. When Jesus told them to go out and to take this message all over the world, and that's exactly what the heart of World Outreach is. It's an interesting ride when God asks you to do something that you don't know how to do. But the good part about that, you can't do anything but trust God. To you, our friends and partners, we want to say thank you. Because of your support, a team of apostles, pioneers, and dreamers have continued to make disciples of all nations. If you would like to learn more about how you can help World Outreach's mission directly, visit charisbiblecollege.org today. As we continue to see hearts and minds come to Jesus in unprecedented numbers, as we see healings manifest, destinies fulfilled, and lives forever changed by the gospel, we remind ourselves this, it has only just begun.